I'm very interested in the voice and how we use our voice when we're talking to each other. The voice conveys so many rich meanings. It, it conveys our emotions. It tells us whether we're committed or hesitant or we're very confident about something. We get attitudes. We can detect whether someone is for or against another person or a topic that's being discussed. So I'm trying to understand how the voice operates, how we use our voice to convey these different meanings, and how listeners can interpret this in mere milliseconds. That's what we're trying to learn. So part of what we want to do is just to understand acoustically, what are the cues that people hear? How do they perceive and interpret those? We want to just define that process because there's not a lot of research on that. Another angle that we take uh, is to understand how does the brain do this? What are the neurocognitive mechanisms involved? So how does the brain simply take these different auditory cues in time and decipher them and make meaning of them? There are features of the brain that allow us to do that, so we're trying to discover that. A third angle is sort of a more health focus. So when people have brain damage, for example, if they have a stroke, what kind of problems do they have interpreting the voice or meanings that are conveyed by the voice? The area of social pragmatic skills, so our social pragmatic competence, this refers to our ability to navigate in our daily lives to understand the social context and to navigate our very complex social environment. We need to have skills in order to maintain relationships. We don't realize how much the voice does in terms of being able to successfully interrelate to other people. This is a growing area for speech pathology is to work on the pragmatic skills. So understanding the voice in, in, in that broader context is really important. What I love about McGill and our school is that we can recruit top-notch students from around the world. So we can bring people from diverse areas of the world with different perspectives who actually have very different academic training, whether it be in linguistics or cognitive science or psychology or neuroscience, and we bring people with different perspectives who have an interest in the voice and vocal communication. And that is what our lab is. We have, a, we have a rich, diverse group of people that can really exchange ideas and stimulate uh, each other's work. Oh.